Hello, good evening everyone. It's a beautiful day, a beautiful Sunday. And uh, we are going to be doing our Liturgy on the Road online. Though of course, uh, this is the usual thing that we do with the Liturgy of Praise and Youth Ministry. Um, when, we, uh, when there was no pandemic, uh, we would have our uh, usual Bible study. This is what Liturgy on the Road is. Um, so, um, you know, we will have a, a particular topic or verse in the Bible and the gospel. We will be talking about that uh, while we're on the road uh, in particular. Let's say, for example, we're in a, in a coffee shop or in a, uh, by the beach or by the river. So we usually have those before the pandemic. But since uh, we're in this pandemic now, uh, wala nang ganun. So we're doing things now online. Uh, and, and we are going to be starting things Uh, a little bit different this time around. So, ang uh, LOTR natin for this uh, for this episode or this ep- this episode, uh, we can have a very very special guest, and uh, and of course um, he is uh, you know he's he's there. You can see him now. But uh, I'll introduce him in a while. But uh, so and he he will start, and he's very eager and he's very anxious to uh, to to give us his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to give his uh, his insights and all the, the things that uh, he has uh, shared with us uh, will be sharing with us but anyway good evening everyone uh, I'd like to uh, to welcome everyone again to LOTR the liturgy on the road by the liturgy of praise youth ministry under the SBD youth of the young ambassadors for Christ and um So together with me, we got uh, uh, Sister Essa from the LPYM, of course, Brother Algin, the director of CYBS, and the uh, director of YPLM, Sis Ray, and is here. And the rest are going to come in. I think uh, Sis Sam Manta was here earlier, but uh, she left. And then, uh, and of course, uh, the director of LPYM itself, uh, he will be coming. And sana meron pang ibang tao. But, uh, and we are live right now in, uh, in our youth uh, Facebook fan pages. Uh, and of course, the subgroup pages of the Young Ambassadors for Christ, the YMAC, and the SYM, and, and we are and we are also live in our um, YouTube channels, so you guys can check those out. And it's, and it's actually in the caption. Um, uh, it's it's a beautiful Sunday. So it has been a beautiful week. Things uh, was you know for in, well, in my case it was it's uh, it's been uh, pro- progressing. Pwede ba yun? Uh, medyo maganda-ganda ang mga nangyayari sa, sa, sa akin in particular. And I hope those that are with me here in the Zoom and of course those that are watching and in particular yung isang tao doon na merong nakaitim na may puti dito is uh, very excited for uh, for uh, for, uh, for tonight's uh, tonight's session. Um, anyway, um, uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and he's very he's very excited daw di ba? and sabi niya kanina um, uh, he actually presided the mass at the 4pm at the shrine at hindi na nga siya nag-homily kasi daw ngayong, ngayong gabi daw siya mag-homily sa atin so he's ex- <laughs> He's excited about that and and shout out to Father Don John ang ganda ng homily niya kanina yeah, it was it was Don beautiful John. And of course, yung, uh, he's inviting uh, young adults from 15 to 20, uh, 15 ba? 15 to 35 yeah, uh, to, yeah. to join, of course, or to, to uh, ano, search in. Meron, meron ganun, parang ganun, di ba, Father? Yeah, search in. And sa, sa Christ the King here at uh, Christ the King Christ Mission Christ Seminary. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Brother Aljon, uh, alam ko, you're very, uh, no, di ba? Di ba yun ang gusto mo, Brother Aljon? Yan bro. <laughs> Biglang ay di, no. Biglang Bahin. nakalimutan <laughs> Ilang taon na ba si Sir Aljon? Ayun, ano, 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 ilang taon na ba si Aljon? Magsasabi oh. sana Magsasabi sana right. akong 16 Kasi si Father pa <laughs> 21 po Father Ako oh, pwede pwede Ako oh, pwede Ako pwede pwede Ako <laughs> But anyway uh, uh, We are going to Uh, uh, of course, get this thing on the road, but um, but before we do that, I'd like to uh, to open a, a short prayer, if you don't mind, Father. I'll do a, a little short prayer before we start, and then I have a um, uh, something to, na na ipapalabas ko at papakita ko sa inyo mamaya. But in the meantime, uh, you know, in the gospel, uh, we are always reminded that uh, you know, time and time again, that uh, the importance of prayer and 
And, and and all throughout the life of Christ, the life of Christ, you know, it's uh, he he does this. There are instances where he pauses and take time to pray, and sometimes, um, uh, we, well, yeah, very simple, you know, prayer. And I'd like to 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 start that off this uh, tonight in this LOTR uh, with Father and the rest of the members that are watching, and that's with me here. Now at the uh, at the Zoom. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord God, as we come together today, tonight, we give you thanks for all the good gifts you have given us. We ask you for your guidance in our lives, and we pray that your love would live amongst each and every single one of us. May your um, goodness and love be present at this very moment we ask also the holy spirit to be with us and uh, let the holy spirit stir all of us with with uh, with hope um, in in our within our hearts and renew our faith and uh, lord we ask you to 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 keep guiding us keep guarding us keep protecting us uh, as we go with all the things that we do in our lives we ask this uh, through the glorious name of Jesus, the divine word, through the intercession of our dear Blessed Virgin Mary. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Um, so, um, Anyway, good evening again to everyone. Uh, good, good evening to those that are here with me. Good evening to uh, to Sam. Hi, Sam. Sam, hi, hi. Pinatay niya yung camera. Oh, there she is. Hi, Sam. Good evening. Um, uh, and I'd like to to. I hope everyone is doing well. It's a beautiful Sunday evening, and I know you guys are ge- gearing up for uh, a beautiful week ahead. Uh, maraming mangyayari sa sa linggong ito, and I'm pretty sure you guys are excited and uh, i'd like to um, to welcome our bible life leader for tonight uh, and uh, as i said earlier he's very very excited and uh, before i introduce him to you i'd like to to share this with you i hope you uh, you, you like this uh, i uh, keep your comments down muna sa, sa inyo wag niyo wag daw muna kayong magsalita uh, let uh, let us watch this and uh, and uh, I'm excited. Here we go. When the world seems far beyond me and I have no place to go when my life seems cold and empty and I feel I'm all alone That a song that I remember Helps to ease my troubled mind And I find the strength within me To reach out just one more time For as long as I have music As long as there's a song for me to sing I can find my way I can see a brighter day The music in my life will set my spirit free. When the road is dark and lonely, inside me seem to fade and almost die that I call upon my music and it helps to dry my 
my tears and I know that I can make it I'll go on despite my fears for as long as I the music as long as there's a song for me to sing Day, the music in my life will set my spirit free. Kilala ko yun. Ang oh, kilala ko rin yun. <laughs> o oh, diba? Ang ganda ng kanta. Kung ano man yung kanta. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, the Bible Life Leader uh, for this LOTR, I'd like to welcome. I I don't know so much about this guy. Uh, I'll just tell you a short story about him. Um, w- what I know, okay? <laughs> well, uh, when you know when we we go to the shrine since we are you know doing the uh, the live streaming now and uh, we were doing the the live streaming for Father Jerry Orbus's uh, 10 a.m. mass and um, uh, usually Father Jerry would have you know this uh, missionary priest right that would uh, would help him out uh, for his 10 a.m. mass and this guy comes in I first time I see him and uh you know parang wala lang you know, chill lang you know with his uh, ipad you know tapos uh, so we're fixing everything up with uh i don't know if you remember this so fixing everything up for the live feed and everything is uh ready for father jerry's mass and uh he comes up uh, next to me and sit next to me and says uh pwedeng makiupo dito kasi yung init doon dito may electric fan remember mo yan <laughs> so doon na nagsimula <laughs> doon na nagsimula so uh, and uh, I, you know, and then uh, we were uh, selling, uh, we were selling uh, cookies yeah, at the time for the fundraiser. Ayaw, yeah. And then so, and then we gave uh, Father uh, Father uh, cookies and sabi niya, ay, aalis na ako. Hindi, uh, tapos sabi niya, no, tapos then we gave him the cookies. Sabi niya, binibenta niyo ba ito? Sabi ko, oh, 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 oh Father, for, for, the, for the youth ministry, you know, uh, fundraising nga. And he says, babayaran ko kayo. Sabi ko, no, no, no more father, alam namin na ano na, na mayaman ka, alam ko naman na pwede kang bumili. But, uh, this is ano, this is uh, for you lang. It's our, it's our gift. <laughs> and then you know, it went on from there. And uh, I I admire him. I you know I admire what he does. Uh, uh, being that he's of course he's a missionary priest and all. And at the same time, you know, um, kung if you guys of course I know you guys are a follower of the, the diocesan shrine Jesus divine word. Pero mga certain post na mga pino post ko doon na uh, ng galing kay, kay father kay father and uh anyway so that, that's pretty much i know about him you know and uh i know that he's waiting for his mission assignment papuntang bolivia kung hindi niyo alam kung yung kung saan yung bolivia please search ninyo kung saan and uh, uh i know he has a very long name so um i i think i'm pretty much i'll let him introduce himself to you and of course we'll start our very short um uh, uh, the things that we do here at LOTR. So again, uh, I'd like to welcome everyone that's here with me at the Zoom, those that are watching at uh, Facebook and YouTube, and of course, I'd like to welcome our BLL, BLL, B- Bible Life Leader for this LOTR, Reverend Father Carlos, Jose Carlos Fortuna Rapaz. Sa bang haba, SVD pa yun ha? Baka sa susunod, mayroong PhD pa yan or STH. <laughs> so anyway, in other words, Father Kaloy or Father JC, good evening and welcome. Good evening sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Salamat sa panyaya ngayong gabi nito. Ano? Napaka, actually, nung inimbitahan ako ni Sir Alan ay kinakabahan ako. Diyos ko, ano ba itong gagawin ko? Parang magpupuwis po riyata ako. Pamakantay na po at kung ano-ano. Baka magtumambling pa ako. <laughs> Kaya... <laughs> Ngayon ay actually very kinakabahan ako kasi nga naman ay first time ko ito. Um, yeah, kagaya ni ilang sinabi ni Sir Alan, nag-aantay ako ng aking um, missionary 
well, travel papuntang Bolivia kasi as of now, um, even the consulate is not yet open. So, dito lang ako sa kahit sa chill, chill, chill lang, pa-walking, walking lang, pakain-kain ng cookies from the youth. So, thank you very much, Sir Alan, sa cookies. Now, um, ano pa ba, Sir <laughs> Shall we begin with the... So, uh, in in our uh, Bible... Uh, well, this is particularly like uh, a Bible study now. So, we, will, we uh, Father uh, Kaloy uh, would share with us his favorite verse in the, in the Bible and then we'll, uh, he'll reflect on it And for those that do not know. And then, of course, uh, then we'll have an open forum kung meron tayong tanong kay Father, kay Father Kaloy. If not, then we'll move on to the next segment of this LOTR. So, Father, your favorite, favorite verse in the Bible. So, this is my favorite verse in the Bible, particularly from the Old Testament. Sana makarelate kayo kasi this is very true-to-life experience sa ating lahat and very touching siya for me. So, this is from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. Sabi niya, For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to cry and a time to laugh. A time to grieve and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to turn away. A time to search and a time to quit searching. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be quiet and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, um, this is a very quantakin. This this text is very Whenever it is read, it is very emotional for me. Because it's, it's very powerful and the message is very clear. And it speaks of the basic experience of humanity. Ah, an experience you'll have ito. Um, you know that time is very important. And you know that time is... Minsan hindi natin napapansin. Hindi natin binibigyan yung sarili natin pag nilayan yung time. Hindi ba lalo sa ating mga, well, kabataan? Kasama pa ako doon. Tama ba? O, tama. Sa, sa ating mga millennials, um, time is um, nirarush natin palagi. Nigisig tayo sa umaga, magrarush tayo, maliligo, gagawin, gagawin natin yung mga stuff na kailangan natin. Um, pupunta tayo sa work, magkukommute tayo, and everything, all that. It's as if our day is defined na ito yun. Ito na yung day ko. As if everything is routinary and nakakalimutan natin that time is a very important factor sa ating buhay and at the same time sa ating pananampalataya as Christians. For me, nung, if you if you are going to to um, follow the the thought of the author of of uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, by the way, Ecclesiastes is found only in the Catholic Bible. In other Bibles, it is so um, present, just uh, particularly in the Protestant Bible, and. You know, the author seems to be implying many things. Eh? It's as if he's telling us that number one, of course, yung pinaka-obvious doon, there is a time 
for everything. Mayroong time para maligo. Mayroong, mayroong time para maglakad. Mayroong time para sa lahat. And natural sa ating buhay na sumunod sa facing ng mundong ginagalawan natin. And bagamat paulit-ulit nga, sabi ko kanina, paulit-ulit lang na parang nagiging routine yung ating buhay, ang mga kabataan ngayon, tayo, the millennials, gustong-gusto natin na doon sa routine na yon, yung everyday life natin, gusto nating may something special. Hindi ba? Gigising tayo sa bawat umaga kahit pa alam mo na yung schedule mo for the day. Pero maghahanap tayo ng something special. Natural sa atin na maghanap ng something na mag a at mag entertain sa atin. Pero, um, gusto din, alam mo, parang sometimes we listen to music, we play games, we we watch the TV, manood tayo sa YouTube. Kasi, um, you know, to, para, to allow time to pass by as if nag-hover lang tayo sa time. And minsan, nagiging escape pa itong mga ito. Pero napakagandang isipin sana na in every experience, in every day, and in every moment of our lives, Number one, ito yun, we must embrace the ordinary. Doon sa text, doon sa text, everything was ordinary. Death, ordinary yan. And ito yung nakakalimutan natin ar- sa ating araw-araw na gawain. We fail to embrace what is ordinary. And Well, hindi natin masisisi yung ating mga sarili, ano? Kasi, um, hinahanap nga natin yung special. Hindi lahat ng sandali ay special. Hindi lahat ng sandali mayroon tayong ganap, ano? And, um, may nakita na akong post doon sa uh, Facebook. Ang sabi, today may not be special, but it certainly counts. So, in every day, Um, as if our our life is boring, right? nagiging rutinary. Pero, di ba, parang um, still, that day counts. Yung ordinary na araw na yan. And sana, yung invitation sa atin is mat, sana matuto tayong yakapin ang mga bagay na hindi special. Kasi, ganun naman talaga ang buhay, hindi special. Second na napansin ko dun sa text na yon na nakaantig din sa atin is it is implying a discipline. Discipline. Number two is discipline. Napakahalaga para sa atin mga millennials and I mean uh, even para sa kanino man na meron tayong disiplina sa buhay natin, hindi ba? Ayaw nating maging kalat. Ayaw nating um, strike anywhere. And so, palagi natin sinasabi sa sarili natin na ito yung goals ko. Ito yung goal ko sa buhay. Ito yung gusto kong ma-achieve. Pero, kaakibat niyan ay, siyempre, discipline. Time management. You know, sabi ko nga kanina, no, kung gusto ni Sir Aljon na pumasok sa seminaryo, nako, Sir Aljon, matututo ka sa seminaryo kung paano pahalagahan ang time. Paano pahalagahan ang bell. Kasi sa buhay sa seminaryo, nag-revolve yan sa bell eh. Uh, gigisingin ka ng bell, sasabihan ka ng bell na bumaba na para magmisa na. Yung in-between periods ng classes, yan, bell lahat yan. But it, 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 it is in- indicating a very important message. Bagamat tunog lang yan ng bell, pero sinasabi sa'yo, oy, mahalaga yung susunod na gagawin mo. And para sa mga nakatry sa seminaryo, sa tingin ko, yung impact nito is pahalagahan ang bawat oras. Dahil mahalaga ang bawat oras. And sa pagpapahalaga natin ng bawat oras, um, mayroong nabubuong disiplina. And kung mayroong disiplina, 
nabibigyan ng kuwang ang mga mahalagang bagay sa buhay natin. You know, napakasimpleng um, time, napakasimpleng tunog ng bell, napakasimpleng orasan, pero napakagandang pagnilayan din natin. Ano? Pangatlo na napansin ko dun sa, sa text is so there is a time for everything. And it is also telling us na there's a time to enjoy our youth. Minsan, sa ating mga millennials, sabi ko nga, rush tayo ng rush. Uh, nag-aaral tayo. Minabadali natin. We look forward na sana matapos na yung mga ginagawa natin. And, and I'm sure, it, sa mga work ninyo, uh, habol kayo ng habol. May deadline. At, at yung achieve at yung yung gusto niyo ma achieve katapusan ng deadline without you enjoying the process i think we are all guilty of that na parang gusto natin rush abutin na lang yung end yung deadline pero hindi natin hindi natin napansin yung time na nawala sa atin hindi natin napansin yung time na dapat sana natuto tayo ginawa yung task natin and most importantly nag-enjoy tayo. Di ba? So, if we have that discipline na setting aside what is not essential para makapokus tayo kung ano ang essential, siguro dun natin makikita na meron pa rin time at mabibigyan natin pansin yung, yung enjoyment ng ating kabataan. Um, Huwag natin kalimutan ito kasi napaka-importante ito, mga kapatid, that we enjoy our youth. Ako, 13 na ako eh. So, hindi siguro ako yung stop. Yun pa ba ako? <laughs> I'm not so young. Siguro, yung millennia. Ano? And, number four would be the sense of purpose and vocation. Kung mayroong time for everything, Mayroon time para magtrabaho. Mayroon time para makasama, tumira sa ating mga magulang. Yet at the same time, mayroon din time para um, hanapin natin yung pakay natin dito sa mundo. This is a very um, beautiful message sa akin nung, nung text. Kasi if you have time for everything, meaning you have time and you have opportunity to be in search for the purpose of your vocation. Sabi nga sa text, di ba? There's a time for searching and there's a time when you will stop searching. Kasi at some point, titigil tayo sa bawat ginagawa natin kung na-achieve natin yung time na yun. And um, lahat tayo ay may pakay. Uh, lahat tayo ay may vocation sa buhay. Um, ito yung gustong ipahiwatig actually ni Father Don John sa kanyang homily kanina eh. That um, mayroon tayong kanya-kanyang bukasyon dito sa mundo. Pero ang, pag, ang, ang, ang reason kung bakit tayo, bakit natin nagagampanan ang ating bawat bukasyon is always the Holy Spirit. Kung bakit nagiging faithful ang mag-asawa sa isa't isa. This because of the Holy Spirit. Kung bakit yung pare nagiging faithful sa kanyang duties at sa kanyang vows? Because of the Holy Spirit. And yung mga single, paano ba ang mga single? Nananatili silang mga uh, mga anak ng Diyos sa kabila ng kanilang pagiging single because of the Holy Spirit. And because mayroon tayong iba-ibang gifts mayroon tayong iba-ibang functions. And aminin din natin mga kapatid na nasa tayang ang ating kabataan kapag nakapokus lang tayo sa isang bagay. Halimbawa, kung nakapokus lang tayo sa mga jowa natin. Yung mga may jowa dyan. Sa ating kasi lahat ng mga kabataan, I mean, lahat tayo, dapat yung focus natin is pangmaramihan career, nandiyan yung love life, nandiyan yung pagsisilbi, nandiyan yung civic uh, involvement natin, social awareness natin, lahat yan dapat. 
Kaya, pero hindi siya nagiging healthy kung nagpo-focus lang tayo sa isang maliit na bahagi ng buhay natin. And minsan, do- doon natin gustong mag sa mga drama ng buhay natin without us knowing na umaandar yung time. So, let us focus our strengths and desires. Uh, focus on our strengths and desires. So, noon ngang, noon ngang, well, kailangan ko bang ikwento ito about my love life. Okay, oh, yes. wag na lang. <laughs> wag na lang, Sir Alan. Sige. Sige na. Nakuwento <laughs> 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 mo eh. Dali na. Ay, hindi. <laughs> hindi. Papastrack ko na lang. So, um, so, nagiwalay kami because papasok ako ng seminaryo. Ngayon, um, may nakapagsabi sa akin, paano kung hindi pala ako matuloy sa seminaryo? Paano kung hindi pala ako para sa pare? Pero iniwan ko siya. You know, one, one doctor friend who uh, gave me an advice. Sabi niya, you know, isa lang kailangan mong gawin eh. You have to go into the direction of your dreams and you will find the right one for you along that direction. Tumbukin mo muna ang mga uh, ang mga dreams mo, aspirations mo sa buhay. And everything will follow. Baka doon mo pa nga mahanap yung special someone mo. Sabi. Well, luckily, nagpapari ako. Hindi naman nasunod yun. Pero, you know, mga kapatid, um, if we are going to reflect upon the value of time in our lives, kung pagninilayad lang talaga natin yung value ng time, um, hindi tayo mag, uh, hindi natin pagsasayangan ng oras na hanapin kung sino ang para sa atin. Hindi natin makikita yung importance or urgency na maghanap ng tao na makakasama natin sa buhay natin. Why? Kasi I believe na if if some someone is for you, he will come. I don't believe na tayo yung maghahanap ng pag-ibig. I believe na na love will find us. Love will find us. Hindi tayo yung maminilit ng sarili natin sa ibang tao. And and, and ano yung factor ng finding of love para sa atin? Time. Time is a great factor in our search. Time is a factor in our relationships. So, sa bawat uh, mga kabataan, sa ating mga millennials, relax lang. Marami akong friends sa noong araw ng 30s na nagme-message sa akin. Nag-worry sila, Father, wala pa akong asawa, wala pa akong baby. Um, 30 na ako. Sagot ko lang, ano ba ang tingin mo sa akin? Ako rin naman. So yun lang sinasabi ko para ma-encourage sila. So, which is not true naman. Uh, take time. Let us not rush everything. Kasi eventually, everything will fall into place. And ito nga, last. Kung mayroon palang time for everything, meaning mayroon din time for anything else. Kung mayroong time for work, kung mayroong time for rest, kung mayroong time management sa buhay natin, ibig sabihin meron din tayong time um, para sa ibang bagay. At ano yung ibang bagay na tinutukoy ko? Um, Siyempre, hindi ko tinutukoy dito yung partying time. Hindi ko tinutukoy dito yung, yung we go out and have our night out or party outside. Pero I am talking about the other things which are ideal for us. Kung marami, kung kaya natin i-manage ang ating time, paniguradong makakahanap tayo ng time for charity, for involvement, and for awareness and action. Kasi um, sabi nila tayo mga millennials daw ay napaka-selfish. Ewan ko kung papayag kayo doon. Ewan ko kung you have uh, you you agree with that uh, with that 
mentality of other other generations sa atin na apa mga millennial mga kwanyan mga makasarili exclusive sarili lang ang ang gusto ng um, inerish um, detached yan sa reality uncommitted yan yung mga usual na na no, na comments sa ating mga millennials but you know becoming a Christian who happens to be a millennial who happens to be young at this time uh, dapat meron tayong sense of the other the sense of the other person and kapag kapag merong sense of the other at kapag napaka-sure na tayo sa sarili natin kasi nga di ba dapat maging sure ka, dapat maging buo ka bago ka mamuno ng ibang tao. Dapat buo ka bago ka mamuno ng ibang tao. And sabihin na natin, the factor in forming yourself to become a better person is time. Your discipline, your time management and all that. Sabihin na natin na ready ka na for commitment. Sabihin na natin na ready ka na for everything. Eh, how are how are you going to to relate with the other i believe yung yung sagot diyan is when you become charitable when you become charitable to the other person kasi um sa bawat relasyon nagsisimula sa charity di ba nandiligaw ka ng babae pinapakita mo yung iyong pagmamahal at pakay sa kanya. I think that's charity. Huwag muna natin sabihin love yan in the long run. That's just charity, concern for the other. And kapag naging kayo na, patuloy na magpapakita yung charity na yan. Magiging yung care na yan hanggang magiging full-blown love siya. And and You know, in every relationship, doon siya uuwi. Kung paano mo ni-nerdish yung iyong sarili nung single ka. Kasi hindi pwedeng um, papasok ka sa isang relationship na kulang ka. Dapat papasok ka sa isang relationship na buo ka. Hindi yung hahanapin mo pa yung anong nawawala sa sarili mo doon sa ibang tao. Kasi baka hindi mo mahanap eh. Kaya nga mayroong conflict. Kasi sinasabi mo sa ibang tao, Uy, ito yung gusto ko. Ito yung kulang ko. Meron ka ba? E paano kung wala din siya? Pareho kayong wala. O di away. O di break kayo kaagad. O di may drama na naman. O di hindi ka na naman fresh. Kasi buong magdamag ka umiyak. Diba? So, um, buuin muna natin yung sarili natin bago tayo pumasok sa isang relationship. And napakalaking factor ng time doon sa pagbuo natin ng sarili natin. Sarili muna, for now. Sige, sarili muna bago tayo pumunta sa iba. And ito lang, yung, just like my homily siguro last week, sa ating mga millennial, sa ating mga kabataan, napaka-crucial yung, yung mga edad na ito. Kasi dito natin mabubuo yung ating conscience. You know, a time to form conscience also. And paano ba natin nabubuo yung ating conscience? Yung kasi, ito ha, although the conscience is a gift by God to us, Lahat tayo may konsensya. Uh, that's given. Um, pero, yung pagbuo ng maayos, tapat, at malinaw na konsensya ay isang proseso. At ano yung proseso na dapat natin um, i-undergo para maging klaro, maganda, at tapat ang ating konsensya. Una, ang pagbabasa ng salita ng Diyos niya. We give time for the Word of God to sink inside us. Saan ba tayo kukuha ng sense of good kung hindi sa salita ng Diyos? Hindi ba? 
nourish ourselves with the Word of God. Kasi, yung salita ng Diyos, parang magiging gabay siya on how we are going to evaluate ourselves before we go to sleep. Naging masama ba akong tao? Naging, naging mapagbigay ba ako? Nagpaubaya ba ako today? Mga ganong kwento. Diyan natin, it comes from the Word of God. Secondly, our conscience as youth will be built, will be formed by the teachings of the church. Siguro sasabihin nyo, Father, napaka-formi naman yan, teachings of the church. You know, in a politically correct world, napaka-allergic ng ibang tao sa mga turo ng simbahan. Ano? Uh, the teachings about, about um, well, sexuality, marriage, homosexuality, about politics. Ano pa yung mga ayaw natin na nakikinig na turo, pakinggan na turo ng simbahan? I think napakarami. Abortion, death penalty, and all that. Pero, mga kapatid, the teachings of the church are not inventions of the church. The teachings of the church as regard these things comes from Jesus himself. They are the very teachings of Jesus Christ, the first century Palestinian Jew, at naisulat yan in the Gospels. Inuulit lamang ng simbahan. And doon tayo kukuha kung ano yung sense ng good and evil sa ating mundo. The third factor that will help us in our formation of conscience as young people of the day is the lives of saints. Ewan ko kung nakukornihan din kayo, ano? pero ako nung, nung ako yung nasa novisate, ano? nakukornihan ako pag sinasabi, sino ang patron saint mo? Sino ang personal patron saint mo? Ah, medyo corny, pero it was later on that I realized the, na yung, yung importance ng saint sa ating buhay. Kasi, um, between the time of our birth and between the time of our death, wala tayong makikitang model maliban sa mga teachers natin, parents natin, friends natin, mentors natin. But the saints were the ones who were able to discover the mystery of God in their own. Kaya, napakagandang basahin natin yung buhay nila, yung struggles nila. Kasi doon tayo matututo how we are going to approach the mystery of God. Sila yung mga lalaki at babae na nakinig sa salita ng Diyos at isinabuhay ito. And kung magbabasa natin yung, yung journey nila, paniguradong mabubuo yung conscience natin na matatag at klaro. And so yun, sa inyo mga kabataan, I think in, in our reflection about uh, about time, about the book of Ecclesiastes, napakagandang um, pagnilayan din natin yung sinabi ni Pope Francis. My last parting words. Sabi ni Pope Francis, Ask the Lord what He wants from you and be brave. Tanungin niyo kung anong gustong ipagawa ng Diyos sa inyo between your birth and your death at maging matapang kayo na gampanan ito. <coughs> so yun nga. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Father. Yes, uh, uh, may mga violent reactions sa mga sinabi mo kanina. Ay, ano yan? Ay, oh, marami, yan. marami. Ay, nako, 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 nako. Nakatakot naman. <laughs> diba si Sam? Si Sam, meron siyang tanong eh. Go ahead, Hi, si Sam. Sam. Ay, nako, may chat. Okay, go. Ito yung mahirap. Pinagtutuan tayo. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Um, wala ka bigla. Wala. <laughs> Oh, Father, wala naman po ako um, major question, pero um, share ko lang din from dun po sa mga sinabi nyo. Um, ang galing, kasi every time na 
um, merong pinagdadaanan or um, yun na, may mga current, current experiences. Um, yeah. Yung gospel, even yung gospel, diba, mag-church ako, mag-simba ako. And um, surprisingly, kahit ngayon, um, relatable siya. So, sobrang timely niya for me. And um, ako, ako po kasi currently ngayon, um, nag-aaral po ako. Um, uh, ano pa rin? Um, flexible learning pa rin, online classes pa rin. And sa course ko po is uh, supposedly dapat talaga hands-on. So, ter- so para ang ironic as physical therapist, hindi namin magampanan um, yung ginagawa na yung physically. And um, one thing then is uh, hindi talaga ako super fond of my um, course or future prof- profession. So um, before talking about time, um, maraming doon, doon, doon nagkakaroon ng maraming questions and magulo siya for me kasi I believe naman na lahat binibigay sa akin eh. And uh, hindi naman sa lahat nag um, nagpo-fall into place pero compare sa ibang tao I I am more than um, blessed na uh, kung anong meron ako ngayon and um, yung current dilemma ko ngayon is yan, going back to the time hindi ko makita parang Una sa lahat, hindi ko po totally na-explain ngayon. Pero, parang lutang. Parang, hindi ko alam bak dito. Na-mention nyo kanina, hanapin nyo, hanapin nyo yung um, purpose nyo or kung ano yung dapat, uh, ano yung tanong nyo, tanong nyo kung ano yung gusto nyo ipagawa sa'yo. And, starting ngayong pandemic, dun lahat, eh, dati kasi, Active po ako dyan sa, um, dito sa YAC, active po ako. every Sunday na sa shrine po ako. And um, parang alam ko, alam ko yung mga mangyayari. I mean, alam ko yung plano ko para sa akin. Pero ngayong pandemic, parang biglang, wow, parang nabago siya. May bagong realization, may bagong... Um, um, may bagong gustong gawin na may mga bumabalik na gustong gawin and naka-confuse ako and dun parang na parang nag-turn upside down yung lahat so ayun um, I value my time kasi ang tagal ko na rin kung nasa college kanan and um, sobrang confusing lahat but Doon po sa mga sinabi nyo, actually kanina, ano, parang maluhaluha po talaga ako, even though hindi naman, although, even though hindi naman, hindi man tayo nagdadrama. Uh, <laughs> Pero, um, based from what you said, uh, tingin ko po, kailangan ko pa siya, kailangan ko lang, meron akong kailangan ibalik, meron akong kailangan i-figure out. And, um, ewan ko po, hindi ko, hindi ko totally masabi, pero uh, maraming reflection na dapat ayusin na hindi na pag laanan ng time for almost a while now. And, ay, uh, yun po. Thank you, Sam. Okay ka lang, Sam. Okay lang? Ha? Ah? Ah? Okay lang, okay lang po. Kasi ngayon yeah. na lang. <laughs> Hindi kasi ngayon na lang po. <laughs> ngayon na lang po talaga ako nakabalik. Tapos, um, kaya siguro parang lutang din and all. Kasi wala po akong mga reflections recently. Lahat, ayun din, lahat um, focus sa deadline. Lahat basta matapos na lang. Ganun. Tapos parang walang, parang walang time. But, Actually, meron time. Pero, yun lang yung ini-instill natin sa isip natin na parang walang time. But, when actually, there is time and there will be time for everything. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. there will be time for everything. There will be time for everything. Darating din siya sa
Yeah, it, it's all God's time. I know that for sure. An example, si Brother Aljo, nag-message si Aljo, sabi niya, bro, ako naman, meron akong isi-share. Okay, go ahead, okay. go ahead, Aljo. Okay, natin. Napo, napo, ito na yung papasok, okay, papasok yes. na. Yes, yan na, yan na. Go, Aljo. <laughs> Hindi, bro. Yung ako naman, oh, diba? parang... <laughs> <laughs> Hindi po, uh, mahabang kanina nagsasabi si okay. Father about sa time. Alam naman natin kung gaano ka-precious yung time. Um, recently kasi parang sobrang daming news sa Facebook feed ko na, na nakikita like um, yung mga prof na to is ayun na nga, um, um, na dead na yung mga mga dating nagtatrabaho sa school namin, um, patay na din dahil sa COVID at the same time other illness and disease. So parang parang nalulungkot lang din ako kasi may pagkakataon na ano, may pagkakataon na parang dapat pala nung before pandemic and um, pinigay mo na yung best ng kasama mo pa sila, yung may time pang nakakasama mo sila. So parang ano, parang habang nag-explain or nagsasabi si Father, parang nagkakaroon ako ng realization na um, napakahalaga ng oras talaga, wag sayangin sa sa i sa ibang bagay and such kasi eh nga um, hindi natin alam kung ano yung mangyari sa mga susunod na oras. Ang kaya lang natin panghawakan is yung current or presence na dapat din enjoy natin. And Um, habang nag-explain din si Father, parang may pumasok lang din sa isip ko paano naman yung mga taong ano, um, parang kumbaga may hinanakit sa ibang tao o kaya naman may galit and such. So parang na-feel ko na ano, parang nasasayang yung oras nila. No? Nasasayang yung oras nila na parang instead of magpatawad na lang sa kapwa-tao, at least mas magiging maganda pa yung kasi alam natin na ano eh para ang hirap na ano ang hirap sa pakiramdam at ang hirap din sa mamuhay kapag alam mong um, may mga nasaktan kang tao may mga nasaktan ay may mga taong ano um, nagkasamaan ng loob so parang ano parang felt bad for them na ano na sa inyo oras na dapat ngayong araw na to nagpatawad na sila sa inyo oras na Uh, binigyan na nila ng chance para magkausap ulit sila, magkabate and such. Kasi nga, yun nga, napaka ano ng oras, hindi natin siya hawak. No, hindi natin alam kung sino na yung mawawala next time and such. So, yun lang. Parang realization na napakalaga ng oras at make the most out of it. And syempre, dun sa mga taong ano, uh, may ganong sitwasyon at naka-stuck sa ganong pagkakataon. Um, the least that I can do for them, of course, or we can do for them, is to pray for them para maka, uh, makahingi or ma-receive yung tamang um, guidance and wisdom from God na napakahalaga ng oras at magiging worth it yun. Man natin si God. So, yun na. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Brother Aljun, for your sharing and Sis Sam for sharing your um, in continuation kay what uh, Father's uh, favorite verse. So in uh, in in all these uh, things that in discussion, <clears throat> uh, uh, an hour. Oh, it's been an hour, pala, no? Ang dalbal kasi ang dalbal kasi ni Father. Uh, so. Let us make time. Let us try our best to make time for you know whatever may come uh, sa sa buhay natin or what. Uh, um, sometimes, kasi pag uh, in 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 my case, in my own perspective, time is really precious, you know. Uh, but yet, sometimes, uh, kung merong mga bagay na dapat ayusin at asikasuhin, sometimes, uh, yeah, my my in my case, my tendency is to prolong it or do it some other time. Um, siguro what I'm trying to say is uh, kung kaya nang gawin ngayon gawin na huwag na natin ipabukas pa <clears throat> Teresa Amen. so uh, you know um, oh, diba? tumawa ka Teresa bakit, diba? <laughs> bakit may mga hugot yan oh eh yeah. alam na nila yan oh, diba um, <laughs> uh, well that's it's simple as that you know I think I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people na pinapabukas pinapa ano pinapa, pa, pa, 
bukas pa. Tama ba? Tama ba 'yung Tagalog? And uh but I I'm learning, you know, uh in throughout this this whole pandemic, you know, at uh, especially na uh with all the things that's happening around us. I learned na kailangan uh you know, I, I do things uh in little by little, you know, say sang araw, okay, this is going to be what's going to be happening. Let us not try to do it tomorrow. Let's do it now and and so on and so forth. And uh minsan uh sometimes yung drastic, you know, you you I I, I do things very drastically. Uh, I think alam na mga directors yan. Uh, and, I, and, I, and, 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 and sometimes hirap, nahirapan din. Ma, no, you know, mahirapan ka rin. If, uh, you know, lalo na yung mga nag-aaral dyan kung kaya. Um, <clears throat> uh, so kung uh, <laughs> kailangan ng gawin ngayon, gawin na natin ngayon. Huwag natin gawin na natin our time. But anyway, time is precious. Uh, uh, treasure it. And uh, with all the things that's happening around us, let's just put our trust in God and and lift up everything up to him and say lord if this is this is if this is your will then let it be it's your time not my time your will but not my will i'm going to stop talking kasi yung isang magsasalita diyan aha mahaba na naman since kanina hindi siya nakapag homily ito yung homily niya ngayon so father is going to be talking to us or sharing with us well, of course the gospel for today And well, you know, today is the feast of uh, or uh, Pentecost Sunday, right? And uh, Father's uh, homily is now, because he's not going to be a homily kanina. So, um, so uh, the the the, the, um, the gospel for today is taken from the book of John, right? So, if you have a Bible, I'm pretty sure you guys have your Bibles with you, taken from the book of John, chapter 20, verse 19 to 19 to. Uh, 19 to uh, 23 ba? Tama ba ako? 23 or 23? Yeah, 23. So, they, uh, so those members, I know you guys are mga YAC sa mga retreat natin. You were given a Bible so dapat may mga Bibles kayo. So, get your Bibles out if you don't have and uh, join uh, with Father's uh, Gospel and uh, of course his uh, reflection sa, in today's Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Please do. Jesus said to his disciples, ah, On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, naanap niyo ba yung Bible? Yung Bible verse? Yeah, anyway. Um, hindi ko nakahabahan kasi sinabihan na akong manaldal. <laughs> So, yun. Alam mo kung bakit? Kasi excited ako sa kakantahin mo eh. Ah, Diyos ko. O, meron pa ba yun? Mahaba na masyado. <laughs> anyway. Um, short lang. Uh, four, four, um, four points lang actually. Um, yung the importance of Pentecost sa ating uh, Christian life, sa ating identity as Catholic. You know, some people say it is the birth of the church. Ano? Um, some some say na it is the time when the church becomes Catholic. And for me, mas papaburan ko yung yung, le- yung latter. 
na Pentecost is the time when the church became Catholic. Bakit? <clears throat> Kasi, um, I believe na there was already a church. There was already a following of Jesus in his in his entire lifetime. When the disciples agreed to follow him, I for for me in my own opinion, you can check later on with other priests. When no mayroon ng um, uh, following si Jesus, I believe that is already a church. Noong nandun na yung, when, when Jesus instituted the Eucharist, nandun na yung church. The church has always been there in the life of Jesus uh, by the virtue of its followers. And so, the early church became only Catholic upon Pentecost. Why? Because, ito nga yung, 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 yung the, the discussion, especially in the first reading, that we're in the church become universal. They speak different languages. They speak languages that were um, uh, unknown to them, but naiintindihan nila anyhow. So, it is the birthday of the church, yes. It is the birthday, siguro, of the Catholic Church. Pero the church has always been there. Pero bahala kayo kung ano yung gusto niyong <laughs> um, side na i-take. Ano. But for me, that's very clear. Naging present na yung church ever since. When the first apostle agreed to follow Jesus, for me, that's the church. Uh, okay. Um, so para sa atin, para saan ba yung Pentecost? You know, the, the, the coming of the Holy Spirit is napaka-important in our Christian life because as I have said, the Holy Spirit is the one who tells us what to do, help us in, helps us in our decisions. Pero, para sa akin, masimplihan ko pa kasi I'm sure narinig nyo na yung mga yan. Gusto ko lang mag-dwell doon sa um, sinabi doon sa ating gospel, particularly that He breathed on them the Spirit. I send you the Holy Spirit. Um, for me, napaka-powerful yung message na yun kasi it means the joy of the Holy Spirit is already with us. Tama ba? I'm, I, I'm, sure, you, I'm sure you will also agree when I say when the Holy Spirit is what was given to us, kasama na dyan yung gifts of the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And one important result of receiving the Spirit is joy, yung happiness. Hindi ba hinahanap natin yan ngayon? Kung saan-saan natin yan hinahanap, hindi ba? Uh, pero the Gospel is already telling us we already received the Holy Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit is joy, happiness, peace, truth, love. And, alam mo yung mga kapatid, et, ito yung isang bagay na hindi makukuha ng ibang tao sa atin. The joy of the Spirit. Ito yung isang bagay na hindi pwedeng agawin ng ibang tao sa atin. Kasi God is giving it particularly to us. So, bakit pa tayo malulungkot, hindi ba, kung naibigay na sa atin? You know, the only thing that could take away the joy of the Holy Spirit from us, of course, is hindi siya tao, pero it is sin. Kasalanan. Kasi, according to, according to uh, our youth catechism, UCAT, sabi niya, he defines sin as very one Sin is the rejection of God, the refusal to accept His love, and not bothering to love at all. Napaganda ng definition niya ng sin. Ulitin ko. Sin is the rejection of God, the refusal to accept His love, and not bothering to love at all. Pero may napaka na-summarize doon sa definition na yon kung ano ba talaga ang kasalanan, hindi ba? 
yung pagtanggi sa Diyos, pagtanggi sa kanyang pagmamahal, and at the same time, pagtanggi ng pagmamahal sa ibang tao. That is sin. And kung tinatanggihan mo yung pagmamahal ng Diyos, kung tinatanggihan mo o kung ayaw mong magmahal ng kapwa mo, I think you are a very sad person. You are a very sad person. To the point na I could say na ang isang makasalanan ay isang taong puno ng kalungkutan sa kanyang buhay. Um, and God sent the Spirit to us in order that we will have two things. Dalawang bagay. Identity and empowerment. Kung if the Holy Spirit is sent to us for these two things, then empowerment in turn becomes the identity so that the more we become Christians, the more na nagiging Kristiyano tayo, the more na nagkikling tayo sa identity natin, the more na na-empower sana tayo. Um, ibinigay ito ng libre sa atin, the Spirit. Sana huwag natin walain ito. Huwag natin hanapin ito sa mall. Huwag natin itong hanapin sa bahay aliwan. Huwag natin hanapin ito sa ibang tao, kagaya nga ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina. Huwag natin hanapin ito sa labas. Because the, the gift of the Holy Spirit is already inside us. Di ba? Parang sa panahon natin, lalong-lalo na ang mga kabataan, as if yung happiness ay natatagpuan sa mall, natatagpuan sa kung anong meron tayo, natatagpuan sa achievements natin. Pero let us be frank that the primary source of joy is always the Holy Spirit. Yung Holy Spirit na na-receive natin in baptism, na na-confirm natin in confirmation, strengthen in confirmation. We already have that joy. We already have that ability na maging masaya kahit na walang ibang tao. Kaya wag mong sabihin na porket single ka ay malungkot ka. Hindi porket wala kang jowa ay malungkot ka. Kasi God already planted the Spirit in you upon baptism. You just have to claim it. You just have to live it. Uh, the second point of my reflection about the gospel is this. When God closes the door, He opens the window. Sabi nila. Pero for me, ano, kung titingnan natin yung mystery of the ascension and the descent of the Holy Spirit, para ba bagang may mensahe din na when God leaves, not, not necessarily totally leave, when Jesus assumed, uh, ascended into heaven, body, soul, and divinity, pinadala naman niya ngayon yung kanyang spirit. So, yung saying na when God closes the door, He opens the window, I believe na kulang yon. When God closes the door, He gives everything in return. Yung kapalit ay everything. Kasi, um, when, when Jesus sent the Holy Spirit, yun na ang lahat, nandun na sa Holy Spirit ang lahat ng kailangan nating malaman sa buhay natin. And, you know, if you have the Spirit, kaya mong maging matapang. If you live in the Spirit, hindi ka magiging marupok. If you live in the Spirit, hindi ka magiging duwag. If you live in the Spirit, hindi ka magiging salawahan. If you live in the Spirit, hindi ka magiging malungkot. Because the fruit of the Spirit is joy. So everything that is good is a result of living in the Spirit. Kaya nga, when we do not live in the Spirit, when we sin, we are sad people, broken people, superficial people, mga marurupok na mga people when we do not live in the Spirit. And thirdly, um, so it is already given to us, mga kapatid, the joy of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. 
sana wag nating hayaan ang ang kasalanan na kunin ito sa atin. It is given to us by God, pero don't allow sin or other people to take away this gift of God from us. Di ba? Yung jowa mo, kayang agawin ng ibang tao yan. Yung salapi, kayang agawin ng ibang tao yan. Yung pinag-ipunan mo, yung karir mo, kayang mapunta sa ibang tao yan. But the gift of the Spirit, hindi pwedeng kunin ng ibang tao yan unless you agree to sin. Salamat. So, ang kinin nyo yan, mga kapatid, claim it. Ang kinin nyo yan and continue to live the Spirit. How do, you, how do we figure out kung ano yung gift ng Spirit sa atin? Every time we, be, we are happy, every time we are joyful for, for good reasons, I think that is the fruit of the Spirit. And always, nakapag may desisyon tayo sa ating buhay, Lord, magpapakasal na ba ako? Lord, diligawan ko na ba to? Lord, sasagutin ko na ba to? Lord, magsiship na ba ako ng course ko? Lord, uh, ano na next step sa buhay ko? Every time we ask the Lord and seek for His guidance, that is a sign that we are listening to the promptings of the Spirit. And listening to the promptings of the Spirit will always make us happy. Alam niyo nung postulansi ako, tinanong ko yung one, tinanong ko yung director kasi um, ito yung time na hindi pa yata ako sure kung tutuloy ako hindi. Sabi ko, Father, paano po kung alam ko na tinatawag ako ng Diyos pero hindi ko siya susundin? No? Paano po kung alam ko sa puso ko na gusto ng Diyos na magpare ako at gusto ko rin magpare in a way pero hindi ko siya susundin lalabas ako I will I will do something else outside you mag-asawa or what Nabigla yung pare kasi hindi niya alam yung sagot Kasi you know it's a very simple yet complicated question Alam natin kung anong gusto ng Diyos, pero hindi natin susundin. And for me, kung siguro sinunod ko yon na lumabas ako, although I know in my heart that I am I, I am called by in this life, siguro hindi ako magiging masaya. Hindi ako magiging masaya. Kung hindi naaayon sa gusto, sa kagustuhan ng Diyos, ang landas na tatahakin ko, even myself, hindi ako magiging masaya. And so, para maging masaya tayo, we have to listen to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Always listen to the promptings of the Spirit. Because it is, He is our guide to happiness. And last point, um, so the Gospel is addressed to the disciples. So I sent the Holy Spirit to you that I may be able to send you. Mga kapatid, Jesus is ultimately asking us to become leaders. Ngayon sa ngayon, ano, napaka, 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 napaka sikat ng salitang mission. Ano? Diba? To your mission, Lord. We give our yes. So, may mga ganyan-ganyan. No? 500 years of Christianity. We give our yes. Pero ano kaya ibig sabihin ng mission? Well, sa aming SBD, ang pag-mission, you get to be sent in other people to proclaim the Word of God. That's mission. Pero paano, paano naman sa mga laiko? Paano naman sa mga kabataan kagaya ninyo? Ano kaya yung misyon? Para maging klaro sa ibang tao sana kung ano yung kinakanta nila. To your mission, Lord, we give our yes. What are you saying yes to on the first place? Mga kapatid, kagaya nga ng pinost ko yata nung isang araw. Ano ba yung pinost ko? Where your feet is, or your foot 
uh, your feet are, that is your mission. Kung nasaan ka ngayon na nakatapak, yan ang mission mo. And paano to become leaders? At ano ba yung leaders? Napakaganda sa Tagalog, hindi ba? Pinuno upang mamuno. So to be a leader uh, is to first and foremost be empowered in order to empower. Hindi ka na pwedeng, hindi ka pwedeng maging leader kung kulang ka. Anong ipupuno mo, hindi ba? Hindi, sige, mas gawin pa nating particular. Hindi ka pwedeng, hindi ka pa sana pwedeng maging magulang kung hindi ka papuno. Kasi mamumuno ka ng mga bata later on. Magiging leader ka ng pamilya mo later on. So, bago ka maging pinuno ng isang pamilya, make sure na puno ka muna sa iyong sarili, na buo ka. That you are full and whole. Huwag kang basta-basta mag-decide na pumasok sa isang relasyon or maging isang parent na hindi ka handa. Hindi lang financially, hindi lang psychologically, but you know, your entire human aspect must be ready for such a responsibility. And be, and yung meaning ng pagiging sent by Jesus Christ to His disciples, kasama na tayo doon, is become leaders of communities. Become leaders of your own family. Maging leader kayo. At paano maging leader sa panahon ngayon? Mamuno. Um, speak truth to power. Maging honest. Mabuhay ng may dangal. Mabuhay ng may kredibilidad. Sa ating opisina, sa ating negosyo, sa ating school. Be men and women of credibility and integrity. Yan. Yan ang gustong ipahiwatig ni Jesus sa atin ngayon. Kayo yun, leaders being sent. Because, sabi nga ni Jesus, He already received the Spirit. Amen. Please rise and let us profess our faith. <laughs> Isa pala. <laughs> Well, thank you, Father, for 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 your homily, no, sa sa gospel yeah. for today. Um, yeah. sa akin, Father, um, before I, I'm sent to go somewhere. Uh, ah, I want to say to myself first, you no, know, here I am, Lord, I come to do Your will. Um, yeah. Uh, that's you know, it's your uh, you uh, you have to accept first. Accept nyo muna. Mm-hmm. yung ibibigay sa inyo. Mahirap naman, tama nga naman si Father, di ba? Mahirap naman na aalis ka na, pupunta ka na kung, kung eh, uh, kukunin mo na kung ano man yung trabaho na yun, but hindi mo naman gusto, di ba? So, um, accept first. And then, uh, oh, I think uh, with all that, like what we talked about earlier, yung know, sa favorite verse ni Father, time. Things will fall into places naman. If it is really God's will for you to have such things, then yes. So can you imagine, sabi ni Father, kung, ano, kung nasaan ka ngayon, yun na yun. So, paano yan? Nandito lang ako sa kwarto ko. So, ganun lang yun. Nandito Ayan. lang sa kwarto. Ayun, <laughs> yun, yan. <laughs> yun na pala yun. But anyway, sabi nga ni Sis Ray Ann, sabi niya kanina, sabi niya, bro, um, please, uh, pagtapos ni Father, ako naman, I have something to share. Go ahead, Ray Ann. Go ahead, Sis Ray Ann. Wait lang. <laughs> Ang gulat naman ako doon. Bakit ako agad? Teka lang. Teka lang bro. Balik kayo na lang ako. Teka lang. May, kag- may inutos lang. Teka lang. Teka lang. Ay, may may inutos. You're being sent. Yeah, you're being sent. You're being sent. Wala ka kang interest. Sige, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Balik, babalik ako bro. Babalik ako. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sabi nga ni ano rin kanina, uh, before we, when we were starting, you know, Uh, trying to figure things out here. Sabi ni Teresa, ang ganda-ganda ng gospel ngayong araw. Sana merong sabihin si Father regarding, you know, yung time and everything. So, perfect the perfect talaga. Go ahead, Teresa. I know you, you're you really eager and anxious. Sinabi mo yan? Yes. Yeah, so go ahead, Teresa. Oh, wow. Parang ano? 
Surprise talaga, no? <laughs> and pinaka-favorite na sinabi ko ni Father is yung where your feet, feet are, that is your mission. Kasi kung nasan po ako ngayon, this is not my profession po. This is just my hobby and my passion as well. Kung nasan man po ako ngayon, which is music, nasa music industry po ako ngayon, which is kind of hard po kasi I, I didn't study for it. I didn't learn from it from the beginning. I just went for it when when the person asked me to go for it. So I think it makes sense now kasi nga po, I, I love music naman po and I, I love where I am now. I'm happy where I am now. It just makes sense. Na, 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 nantuwa lang po talaga ako na na ano bang tawag dito? Na na ano siya? Na, na ano? Anong ibig, anong, anong term doon kapag kapag na ano siya, na confirm? Oh, I'm looking for a term. Na, na validate. Oh, na validate, yes, Father. Na validate po yung yung happiness ko and na, natuwa lang po ko lala. Now, now I'm more than happy and blessed to where I am right now despite of uh, hindi siya yung ginusto ko nung nag-aaral ako ng college kahit hindi siya yung pinangarap ko a year before the pandemic because this is the available work at the moment. This is what I have. At first, medyo uh, talaga ba ito na yon Parang ganun po ako pero since now na I'm really enjoying it and I'm really into it, parang, oh nga, no? Nung sinabi mo yung father, I felt like I'm in the right place. Even if this is not what I planned. So, this means, this just means na talagang may plan na si Lord sa'yo. And whatever His plans are for you, you cannot really do something about it, but definitely you will be happy for it. Ayan lang po. Thank you po. Thank o you, diba? Sir. Sabi ko sa iyo eh, Father, ah. very eager siyang magsalita eh. Go ahead, oh, Rayan. Sabi ni Rayan siya na, sige, tama lang, tagal-tagal magsalita niya. Oh, tapos, eh, tapos, 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 oh. tapos na siyang, tapos oh, na siyang pasen. Oh. <laughs> Balik na daw siya. Oh, pabinalik na ako, Charot. <laughs> Ayun. Um, good, after, good evening na pala. Ganun. Um, yun. Um, ako, Father, uh, well, um, actually, parang may, na-trigger yung utak kong may maalala, something like that. Pa, and may ma-realize it at the same time. Hindi po. Kasi ano po, um, parang ganun pala yung halaga ng peace be with you. Nang sumain nyo yung kapayapaan. Na parang, um, hindi lang siya basta part ng misa. Ano siya, um, it somehow reminds us na, hey, you have your Holy Spirit within you. Listen to it. And it's only... Um, it's only we, we, um, when we are at peace that we can see the good in anything, in everything. Hindi mo makikita yung, um, yung ganda, yung kabutihan ng isang bagay pag ikaw mismo magulo ka. Kapag yung um, nasa utak mo magulo, yung um, nakikita mo magulo lang din and pangit. And y- um, pag ganun yung nakikita mo, um, feeling mo wala yung Holy Spirit sa'yo. So, um, kaya doon ko naalala na baka kaya lately ganun yung nararamdaman ko kasi hindi ako naiiyak po ah. Baka lang kasi isipin nila naiiyak ako eh. <laughs> medyo may oh, sakit lang po talaga ako ngayon kasi ganito yung boses ko. Kilala ko na po kasi mga isip ng mga yan eh. <laughs> 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 yun <lang po. laughs> Pero ayun nga po, maybe um, kaya ganun yung nararamdaman at eh, nakikita ko lately kasi um, hindi, hindi na ako gaan nakikipag-usap sa sarili ko. And, di ba, Holy Spirit is Him. Um, siya mismo yun. And, nasa ibang anyo lang. And, ayun, um, nakakalimutan ko personally na, o nga pala, nasa akin siya. O nga pala, um, siya talaga yung source of everything. Kaya including, um, yung plan ko sa sarili ko. Nakakalimutan ko, ko lang kausapin yung sarili ko and kamustahin. Kaya nakakalimutan ko rin i- um, hindi ko rin nalalaman kung paano ko um, i-realize mga bagay-bagay or paano ko um, sila titignan or aayusin sa ay- nang naaayon sa takbo ng buhay ko. Gano. So, ayun lang. Parang it reminds me somehow na um, ayun, nandito siya. 
And sabi nga doon sa video na huli kong nakita, which is sobrang timely kasi parang um, sabi doon, iba yung power ng, ho- ng dasal kapag dinama mo, dinamay mo sa dasal yung Holy Spirit. Para ka na rin nagdasal para sa sarili mo. Sa sarili mo. Kasi nga, nasa iyo yung Holy Spirit. So, ayun. So, ayun lang. Para ang timely niya. Thank you po. Thank you, Cesar Ray. And thank you so thank much. Thank you. Um, well, in the... I think we figured this out, you know. Uh, time. Favorite verse kasi ni Father. Holy Spirit. Bro. Because of... Because... Bro. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. So, so ano, gusto ko na mag-share kasi baka mamaya magulat ako tawagin mo ako. Inunahan ka na. Inunahan ka na. Inunahan ka na. Inunahan ka na. Pakita ka. There you are. Go ahead. Sorry, hindi ako presentable. So, good evening guys. So, yung take away ko lang dun sa gospel. So, di ba sabi yung sa Pentecost, it's the time when Jesus returned to His principles. So, I guess, parang every Christian goes through the same process, no? Parang, there are times na we will experience hardships or uh, siguro, uh, figuratively, we have to carry our own process. Pero, what we need to remember po is, kahit maka-experience tayo ng hardships, uh, we need to remember na there's an end to that. At, lalong ano, may times man na nahihirapan tayo at minsan parang, we tend to focus on the negative things in life. We need to remember na hindi tayo nag-iisa kasi nga, it's a process and then we need to enjoy the process po kasi ang importante po is yung result pero uh, we don't need to focus on the result kasi kailangan din nating ano pagdaanan talaga yung process so yun lang po yung take away ko dun sa gospel thank you thank you Salamat sa pangunguna. <laughs> Inunahan na talaga ako eh. No? Hindi kasi may ginagawa ako bro. Natakot ako. Inunahan ko na. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir Owen. Alright. Thank you, Owen. All right, thank you, Owen. Uh, about ano, area, nandiyan ka? Dumating ka rin, ano? Hello po. Uh, ano, mag-share? Hala? Hala? Oh, <laughs> Nasa shrine ka ba kanina? Uh, Opo. O, oh, so nakita mo si Father... Father Kaloy kanina doon. Ah, uh, lagi ko naman po siya nakikita nang naglalakad. Nakikita <laughs> <laughs> nagdala. <laughs> so 4 PM mas po, opo. Ah, uh, so 4 PM mas. Di ba ang ganda ng ano ng homily ni Father yes, doon doon kanina, di ba? Opo. Mm-hmm. So kaya since wala nang homily si Father Kaloy kanina, dito na siya nag-homily. But anyway, so about you, meron ka bang i-share? Ay, ay akala ko naman ligtas na. <laughs> <laughs> hey, about time. Hey, time. Ano, anong time? About time na i-share or ano? Kahit ano eh. Ano, anong i-share? Uy, clue naman. Ah, kwento mo. Kwento Gosta. mo kung anong ano. Ah, kung anong nangyari ka. Kanina. Kung paano ka ano. Pa, uh, how was your, ano, when you were, how was your grade? Your grade mo nung grade 5 ka. Ano, kwento mo yung ganun. Hmm, pwede naman yun. Uh, Parang tagal na bro. Parang... <laughs> Oh ano God. po? Um, about sa gospel. Sa Pentecost. Um, ayun, yung Holy Spirit nandyan palagi to guide us. And, ano, parang ano lang, yung sharing ko more on pagpapasalamat lang sa Holy Spirit. Kasi, dun nga sa isa sa mga homily ng Pentecost na na ko. It's about hope daw. Yung Pentecost is about hope and thanksgiving. And ayun, sabi ni Direk Bibi, yung things at the right time. Kasi the Holy Spirit always knows what to, kumbaga kung what place to put us into. Na no matter how chaotic our lives might be, it's up to Him to make everything fall into place. Na kahit at times sobrang parang hindi mo na alam kung you're on the right track. If you just pray, He's always there to guide us. And eventually, mapupunta tayo sa kung saan niya tayo nilaan. And kung sino yung nilaan niya for us. Ay! Ay! Ba't may pag sino? Ay tawa. Ay sorry. Yes, Ray. Ray. Sanay na ba? Ano na ba yan? Got on may share si Ria. May share si Ria. Ay, okay ka ba? Kanina ka pa umiiyak dyan. 
Hello. Ray, okay ka lang? Pwede mo? Ay, si Kim siya. Ay, si Kim. Sabi niya, ang weird pa, <laughs> lahat ng sample ng tanong mo ko kanina, actually, lahat ng tanong ko lately. <laughs> O, oh, diba? Saktong-sakto. Totoo. Sakto lang. Except lang ba sa liligaw? Oh, <laughs> lahat pa na si lahat. Nako. Meron palang na, nasa pool. Ay, di ako. May iyak pa. Huwag ka ba niwa? Saan <laughs> eh? Okay. So, uh, before the last words from <laughs> our from our uh, the, the, the director of LPYM, Father has a big surprise for us. Uh-oh. Ay, nako! Tutuloy pa ba yun? <laughs> oh, naman! Sinumulan mo <laughs> kanina eh. Might as well. Oh, Diyos ko. Ngayon na ba yun? Oo, oh, ngayon na. Ngayon na. Okay, guys, keep your comments at yourselves na lang daw, sabi ni Father. Nako! <laughs> Ado na, ito na. Oh, mag-mute na kami. Mag-mute na kami. Teka, teka. Naririnig nyo ba? Tignan mo nga. Naririnig? Wala. May naririnig kayo music? Wala. Wala. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, um, call lang muna. Just won't hear up naman yun. So, hindi ako thank you. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh, naririnig nyo na? Father, pwede po ata kayo mag-share ng content. Paano ba? Meron pong button sa baba po ata. Ay. Nasaan yan? Sorry naman. Share content. Sa anong na chat screen? Okay. Share screen. Screen? Oo. Uh-uh. Share screen. Tapos meron dyang uh, when you press it, merong, merong nalabas na share sound, optimized video clip. Okay. Yun. yun. Nasaan yung sound? Tapos sa advanced, you click on computer audio. Tama ba ako? Tama ba sinasabi ko? Tama ang sinasabi ko, di ba? <laughs> okay, tama. Portion tama of pala. screen. Tama. Portion of screen siguro. Yan, nakikita nyo. Ako, may, may mga book. Kailangan... Ito ba, nakikita nyo? <laughs> nakikita pa. Wala yung nakikita. Never mind. Bro, ay nakikita yung mag-music for father. Pwede rin naman. Ano bang kanta yan, father? <laughs> Narinig nyo? Okay na po. Narinig na po. Wait na kami. Yes po. Ito ay para sa inyong lahat. Pagpasensyaan nyo na kasi hindi ako prepared. Morning comes and I must go Day is breaking yonder After all the places I have been, now I'm going home. I have been to see the sky, to travel on the I don't know why I am going home Where is the answer to so many questions I don't know So I begin another Is the meaning for my word? I see the answer now. Though we came by different roads, now we
through the cool of summer rays by the hard side fire I'll be with you when nothing remains I am home to Stop my endless wandering loves gives the meaning to my word. I see the answer now. So you and Mang Kapatid in every every question sa buhay in every search na gagawin ninyo remember na love is the answer God is the answer Jesus Christ is the answer yeah. thank you wow <laughs> thank you father gusto <laughs> tinawahan ako doon ni record namin yun <laughs> Gusto ko yung di ka pa ready niyan, Father. <laughs> Oo nga, no? hindi pa daw siya ready. May <laughs> well pa yung, yung mukha ko. So, Pinawisan. <laughs> anyway, I know this is uh, getting so long. So let's uh, listen to the, the last uh, words from our director ng LPYM and director of YAC. And of course, his closing prayer. And after the closing prayer, Father, uh, your blessing. Brother Said. Okay. Brother Sai, are you there? Okay. So, so yun nga. Uh, how's everybody doing? Good evening. Good evening. There you go. We can hear you. Hi. Hi. Sorry, wala ako sa bahay. Um, yun. Uh, thank you, Father Kalay, for the very beautiful song. And of course, uh, napakaganda ng and very inspiring na uh, talk to you, na sharing. Um, yun nga, uh, time is very, very, uh, ano ba? Very, time is an issue for everyone, especially ngayon. Yung ang problem na ngayon is yung time is like, uh, parang irrelevant na siya, medyo hindi na nakapansin, especially to students or those na mga nakasambay na lang, nakatenga, and um, pagkakaroon tuloy na No problems with uh, self-care, with with how a person thinks of him or herself. But of course, uh, that's why we have to remember that time is just an illusion compared to God's goodness, to God's greatness, diba? And that's why, as Christians, as Catholics, we have to keep on reading, reading the the Word, God's Word, and to listen, keep on listening to it. To, uh, uh, to the homies or the sharings of other wise people like the father coming and and uh, of course also uh, to ask for the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is uh, like is uh, is um, um, the Holy Spirit uh, gives us power gives us Uh, a different kind of of, of uh, energy, spiritual energy, yes. and and ah, uh, lagi lagi siyang napa nakakalimutan o lagi siyang nakakalitan. Pag natanggap natin ng Espiritu Santo, iba na yung taman niya sa atin. Bali, it is like the ano, the greatest drug, the good drug, pwede natin consider. Um, and yun lang. Um, Listen to you, little girl. Listen to you, okay. So let us remember that we are in God's loving presence. Uh, you can meet the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Mm-hmm. So, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of unity that is our relationship for the of our distance. May you continue to bless us tonight and for the following days that we may be the forerunners of your love and divine mercy. May we be your instruments of peace and compassion, that we may be the extension of your healing hands. Bless us, Lord, as we live here tonight to take the fire of your historical passion with us. And it's flaming that our friends and family may feel you in the warmth of your our presence. We ask the Holy Spirit to inspire us every day to seek you in your word daily that we may grow both as individuals and as a group. Keep us safe from violence, diseases, and other forms of illnesses. Walk with us that we may reach those who are desperately in need of you. Teach and show us the time is insignificant compared to your greatness and help us to focus our time in you in doing your holy will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father. Thank you. Blessing now. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To the intercession of St. Arnold Johnson, Joseph Reynatemets, Padre Pio, and all the angels and saints. May God bless you with good health, more wealth, happiness, holiness, love in your family, success in your career, and protection in whatever you do and wherever you are. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Okay, thank thank you. you so much, Father. Thank you, Father thank Kaloy. You, Father. Thank, you. Thank, you, thank you, Father Kaloy, for joining us, for being with us, for inspiring us with your with your reflection sa favorite verse mo and of course sa gospel for today and to the rest of the members and those that are watching thank you so much for joining us uh, in this uh, liturgy on the road online um, sana sa mga susunod makita-kita tayo ulit sa mga activities ng youth ministry mo especially dito sa sa shrine of Jesus the divine word so um in the meantime have a beautiful night and again uh, thank you to uh, to the director of LPYM Uh, Brother Side, Brother Owen, CYBS, Sister Ray Ann, uh, YPLM, uh, Sister Teresa for, from LPYM also, Brother Algen, CYBS, PNT, kay Sis Arian, LPYM, kay, uh, kay uh, Sis Sam. And of course, to again, to Father Kaloy, thank you so much for for spending, tagal mo kasi magsalita, your time uh, being with us tonight. <laughs> and, and and of course, uh, thank you sa ano, uh, for For, you know, just for saying yes to us, to me, and uh, for singing na kahit na sobrang pilit, yun, yun, ginawa rin naman niya, di ba? <laughs> Nag-prepare din naman siya. Nag-record pa yan, di ba? <laughs> But anyway, again, to to everyone that's watching, check it out in our uh, Facebook pages and to our YouTube channel. And I we hope to see you very, very soon. Uh, to the youth members uh, of the YEC, YMAC, and SYM, please stay safe. Please, uh, where you are. Yes, of course. Uh, you, we, we are going to start planning out our schedules again starting next month uh, yeah. so that we can all see each other again sa, sa shrine. So, uh, so asahan nyo na yan yung mga weekly schedules natin mga bago na for this uh, no, since nasa GCQ heightened alert restricted NCR plus bubble Bubbles, bubbles with nata de coco, extra large, 100% sugar. Okay. <laughs> Ang haba, no? <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys so much. Please watch out na lang sa mga online activities and of course yes. our face-to-face activities very, very soon. Again, to everyone, have a beautiful night. Have a great week ahead and God bless you guys all. Have a good one. Good night. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. O oh, loving Father, your will is to save us all. We entrust our will to your most holy will. Let every breath we take be an act of gratitude and love, as Jesus, your Son, has shown in his life. 
May His most sacred heart, the fountain of divine love and mercy, ignite our hearts to do with zeal your great commission. May we always be in your loving care so that we can fulfill what you ask of us, the young people of the Church, to become ambassadors of your divine word and be your humble servants. Lord, may we do all things for your glory. With the intercession of the Holy and Immaculate Mother Mary, in union with Saint Joseph and all the angels and saints in heaven, we ask this through Christ the Divine Word made flesh, forever and ever. Amen.